All right, so I am first going, I'm sorry, dude. This is a young male green iguana. He's really blue. What I want to do is chilly. Grab him right there. This green iguana, if you get a shot right there, is going stuck at the waist. So somehow he got his head and shoulders through, but the waist right here, let me move these vines out of the way. Look at that. Right there, he got stuck at the waist. So let me see if I can get his claws unhooked. I'm sorry, dude. What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to another Chandler's Wildlife. We are doing something that was not planned. I just got a FaceTime call from my buddy Caleb. Uh, he FaceTimed me and he turned the camera over to a fence and on the ground there's an iguana stuck in the fence. And he said, hey, I need some help with this. I'm not trying to get bit by this iguana. And I said, all right, let me get my camera. I'm gonna head on over. So we're heading over to Caleb's house right now and you guys are gonna see what's gonna go down. Oh, there he is. That's a, that's a really nice book right there. Oh, wow, you're fast, man. You, you got over here really fast. What's going on, bro? How What's going you? on? How, How are you, you doing, bud? Give me a hug. Come on. Let's I got like to see we're, we're, we're Like, we're not best buds. <laughs> you want to see that trident? I want to see that trident. You want to see that trident? No one's seen it on the channel yet. Oh, you guys are going to love this. Oh, my goodness. How crazy is that? Here, come around. How cool is that? <laughs> oh, it's sick, right? He's looking at this sick. Oh my goodness. It's real I beautiful. Know. You did a real good job on it. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> we got an iguana to catch. I know, dude. We, I know, use, we, we, we can use this. We can no, use no, this. No, 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 no. All right, man. So what's the situation? You got an iguana stuck? Yeah, man. I, I came outside and wanted to give some water to the horses and uh, my my dog's barking at something on the corner of the whoa, yard whoa, here. Whoa, 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 whoa. I gotta say hi to her real quick. Or him real quick. Chief. What's going on, Chief? Oh, this dude's so cool. I love him. What's up, Chief? I don't have carrots. Don't bite me. I love you. Okay, going through the little crack in the fence, trying to look for an iguana. Yeah, I hope he's still here. Hello. Yes. All right, so where's the, that patch of fence over there? That's what it looked like in the video. Yeah. Over there? Straight ahead, right there. Take me to the iguana, boy. Take me. That's these. Oh, nice swing. Why do you have a bat? Oh, dude, here he is. Oh, hey, buddy. Let me see if I can get this done by hand. Yeah, man, I think you can. Here, let me. Alright, so I am first going, I'm sorry dude, this is a young male green iguana, he's really blue, what I want to do is gently grab him right there, see, nothing crazy, it had to be, be all explosive, I did very gently, now this green iguana, if you get a shot right there, it's gone stuck at the waist, so somehow he got his head and shoulders through, but the waist right here, let me move these vines out of the way, look at that, right there he got stuck at the waist, so let me see if I can get his claws unhooked. I'm sorry, dude. Oh, he is upset. He is very upset. I understand why. How long has he been stuck out here? I have no idea. You just found him? Yeah. Well, it's good you just found him because he's right in the sun. If we didn't get him out in enough time, he would have cooked out here. You know, reptiles love heat and they need it, but, you know, too much of it will kill them. They do what's called thermoregulating. So, guys, when a reptile like an iguana is out in the sun, he reaches to the temperature he needs for his energy, and then he moves into the shade to cool down, or he moves into the water to cool down, because he doesn't want to overheat. So if he's stuck out here in this fence, then he's not gonna be able to thermoregulate and move out of the heat, and it'll overheat and die. So reptiles really gotta make a move on. I think I can just squeeze him out. He, he's not that stuck, he's just barely stuck, and he wasn't able to do it by himself. There we go. Beautiful. Wow. You know, this is actually a very pretty iguana. Look at that. He's actually blue, orange, green, white, and black. Can you get that on the camera? Is it coming out well? Yeah, man. That is insane. This is a young male green iguana. And he just had uh, some bad luck. Now, <laughs> I maybe shouldn't be putting him on me because I actually just noticed that he's got some ticks on him. So let's actually help him out. You know, these ticks aren't gonna jump onto me. If they are, they're too big for me not to notice. So look right here, get a nice shot of that beautiful face. On this part of skin right here, this is called the dewlap. It's used for impressing females, and it's also used for rituals when dealing with other males. Look, 
right there. Can you see that? Those are the ticks. So let's pull these ticks off. Look at that nasty thing. Look, oh my goodness, look at that thing. Can you see that tick right there? That is crazy. I'm just gonna flick it on. Get off. <laughs> Please don't stay on me. Got another tick right here. All right, so that's two ticks so far. What else do we got going on? You just had a bad day, but guess what? Now it's the spa day. Taking all these ticks off for you. Oh, you got one in your armpit. You got a little tick in your armpit. I got it for you. I'll get that out. There we go. Nothing like pulling ticks off a buddy. Let's see this. Right green like a highlighter. Yeah, where? On the whole bottom. Whoa! Look at the colors of that iguana. You know, not all green iguanas look like this. They vary. And as you've seen when I went to Tom Crutchfield's, there are some iguanas that can have amazing, crazy colors. Now, I'm not trying to say this is a morph, but he's definitely got a wide range, a good plethora of colors on him. Look at that. Orange tips, but it starts out blue. That, this is a very interesting looking green iguana. I haven't seen many of them looking like this. He's crazy, but let me go back to what I was doing. I noticed when I flipped him to his back, there's a tick right below his cloaca. Not a very comfortable spot for a reptile. The cloaca is where the sexual organs are hidden inside. So snakes, crocodilians, lizards. The cloaca is where their sexual organs are hidden. It's where they poop out of. It's where they lay eggs or give birth out of. And uh, he's got a tick stuck right below it. That right there's the cloaca. That's tick. Let me help you get it off your deep. Oh, sorry. Deep. Oh, look at that nasty thing. Imagine if that was on your cloaca. Okay, let's see, what other ticks do we got going on? You got some under your legs? Oh, you got a whole bunch of little ones under your legs. I can get that off for you. A good soak would help you too. Uh, let's see, what else, what else? More ticks under your armpits? Some right there, let's get that out. I think, for the most part, we've removed most of the ticks. So as you can see, this is about a, I'd say what, three and a half, going on to four feet. Yeah, beautiful green iguana. Nice. See how he's very calm. He's not really moving that much. Dogs were barking at him for a while, so they're probably exhausted. Yeah, and he's probably been attacked by dogs as well because if you look right here, it looks like he just nearly escaped from one. Look at that. He's got scars from teeth going all over his back. So does that come out well on the camera? Because it's really hard to see in person because the scales are so small and vibrant, it kind of throws you off. There are scars right there, if you can see at this angle. That is a beautiful green iguana. Now, they're omnivorous. A lot of people think that they're just veggie eaters or vegetarians. Not true, they're omnivorous. They'll eat bird eggs, chicks out of bird's nest for protein. They'll eat worms, they'll eat grasshoppers, they'll eat all kinds of insects. Out here in South Florida, it's very easy for an iguana to go up into a bird's nest and eat all the eggs. It's a nice little treat. Problem is, we have some endangered species here in Florida. So that's where the iguana, not being a native species, causes a problem. But they've been here for so long, Everyone thinks they're locals now. They're on the beaches, they're on every canal down here in South Florida. You can find them all the way up in Tampa. It's insane. But they don't do well in our cold snaps. Only the native species will do well. So these guys end up freezing up, locking up, and they fall out of trees during the winters when we have a real, real cold night. And if you look right here, this is a good opportunity for you to see the ears of a lizard. Right there, that little drum right there, that is the ear of a lizard. He can hear, which is very handy if a predator is trying to sneak up on you and he cracks some leaves while stepping on the forest floor, he's going to hear that from a mile away. It's perfect. So uh, let's get this guy out of here and uh, I'll see you guys on the next Chandler's Wildlife. Thank you for inviting me over, Caleb. I appreciate it. We don't have to use any tools to have to cut your fence. Good day. Good day. Healthy iguana. Let's see. Wait, what's this? What's this? Is this um, oh, is this... Is this where we put your manure? Yeah.